Good morning, happy Friday. We're gonna go get some coffee. It's Friday. I don't know why I've been starting all my weekly vlogs on Friday. They're supposed to be weekly vlogs and they're just weekend vlogs, but it works. It's also been a weird week because I've had all these plans and they end up getting canceled because the weather is so just like random. It's been like raining and then not raining and then like thunderstorm and then it's fine and then it's just such a weird time. Spring in Missouri. But every Friday, me and my husband like somehow started this tradition where in the morning we get caught. It's basically spend money the day. In the morning we get coffee from seven brew and then in the evening we'll get sonic and then we order wingstop or papa john but that's not till like usually like 11 p.m in the meantime getting coffee and i have no idea if we have any plans this weekend i actually recently learned how to play tennis my brother was teaching me and my rackets were supposed to get in today and then we could play today and tomorrow but now they're not getting here till monday I finished Powerless last night. I stayed up to like 1 a.m. Guys, I've gotten back into a bad routine. I know in my last like getting my life together video, I said that I was gonna start waking up early. I've been waking up at like 10 or 11 because I keep staying up to like 2 a.m. reading. I can't stop. My books are just so good. Okay, so this, I had, am I getting one Coffee is secured. I got a large this time. Normally I just get a small or a medium but I think I'm gonna actually drink it all, so I went with the large. So good. If you have a seven brew near you, sugar-free cinnamon roll is my favorite. My husband gets an extra shot in his. It's so good. I like seven brew better than literally any other coffee I've ever had, and that's saying a lot, because I love coffee. You know what's crazy? I wasn't even allowed to drink coffee my entire life. My first coffee I ever had, I was 19 years old, and I hated it. I got something from Starbucks. And now, I mean, obviously this is like a super sweet drink. It's not necessarily just coffee. But now I also like coffee at home and if it's good coffee, I'll even drink it black. So I actually like coffee, not just a latte filled with, well, it's not filled with sugar because it's sugar free, but filled with sweetener. So I think I want to get back into my photo shoot era and I can vlog it and really just me, my camera, and a tripod because I don't really have anyone to take my pictures unless someone wants to go with me. So that's the vibe. And then I also did like a studio shoot in my basement with my brother. He has this whole setup. So we set up lights in my basement with like the black backdrop for my business. I'm trying to start like profile pictures for all that and whatnot. So that was fun too. I want to show you guys the spring flowers in my backyard because it's actually crazy. This is our first spring living in this house. We moved in around fall time. So I didn't know this tree would bloom like this and we just found out that this can either be glass or a screen so that's great and it's like all the flowers are falling all pretty onto our deck but here's the tree ah! so that's where I took my pictures the other day isn't that so pretty I'm low-key thinking if I do a photo shoot today maybe utilize like the deck with the flowers on it or something like that I don't know I don't feel like going somewhere far away from my house today it is now time to make lunch why do I feel like every video of mine is me talking making food talking making food talking making food I guess that's all I do I don't know you guys already know the drill I'm making a burger for my husband and the meal prep for me my meal prep, ready? Chicken, ground beef, cold slaw, soy sauce, other sauce, yummy. <laughs> I feel like I overcooked that one just a little bit. There's like no red, but still good. Mm -hmm. Yay. my cat litter in here because I keep one in this little thing and then one in the guest room I already did that one yesterday and now wow my cats have destroyed this couch that's okay now I need to film my powerless review this is the book I just finished last night so if you guys want to hear me talk about this book if you're a reader you can go to my reading channel which is always linked in the description I finished filming my review and now I can't stop thinking about the book again. But yesterday I moved all my stuff, well not all my stuff, I have a different desk and I moved everything downstairs to edit in the same room that my husband works in because I'm going to hang out with him. So I'm either going to work in there or move all my stuff. Hello. I like 
feet in here. So I'm over here on this side of the room and this room is so big. Like literally, I don't know why this is the biggest room in the house, like I've said, but I'm in this corner by the closet. There's a whole bed. He's all the way over there and there's still this whole spot over here. So honestly, this is a move. This room is big enough for like, this is like a co-working space. Like eight people could work in here. I am almost halfway with my coffee. That's like record timing. I've had it for two hours, almost three hours. I feel like right here could be kind of a fun spot to film some videos. It looks so cool in this corner. I just finished all my stuff for the work day and now it is Friday, it's the weekend. Abram's off work, everyone's off work. So we are actually gonna go to Sonic and play at their sand volleyball if it's open, but I could really only get us two and Jordan Tori to commit to going. So we'll see if this works out, but either way, we're gonna get our Sonic drinks and do some activities outside because it's so nice out, it's spring, and then who knows what we'll do the rest of the weekend. Sonic time, yay. Wet feet time. Wet feet, wet socks, wait. Put your foot up. Wet socks. <laughs> All right, I'm setting up the music because we don't want to listen to the weird radio music. Unfortunately, the sand is wet and cold and there's like trash in here. Dogs are out. Happy Saturday, love a good Saturday. So let's catch up. Yesterday after volleyball, my camera died while we were playing volleyball. Forgot to plug it in last night, but we didn't really do anything. All my siblings came over and we just kind of hung out, played Super Smash, so not much to vlog. But this morning I've been cleaning like since I woke up. It's kind of therapeutic sometimes to just take a few hours to just clean everything. I mean, my sheets are in the wash. I've done a little laundry. I put the laundry away already. Very productive, feels great. Love that for me. I am also gonna start air fire today. Very very, very excited about this. Soon I'm gonna go hit the gym and then I think we're gonna play pickleball and then we're gonna hang out with friends tonight. So kind of taking the day to relax before the chaos ensues of having plans for the rest of the day. Popping open a Celsius, haven't had any caffeine today yet. Oh, so good. We're doing the orange flavor today. But on Instagram, I asked you guys what you wanted me to kind of talk about in this vlog because I know I didn't have like much actually going on. This would be more of like a chit chatty vlog. So while I kind of do things around the house and as my day goes on, I'll just kind of choose some topics to discuss. Talk about how your book journey is going. It's going really good. I'm reading a lot slower than I thought this month. Um, I'm only on my second book, but we're halfway through the month. I usually try to read about one a week, but I have been a little bit more busy. So yeah, but I have a book channel which is linked down below. You guys can go subscribe there. Oh, let me break this down. So on this channel, if I ever do like a high effort video, like I'm about to post one soon, that's like walking and reading on the treadmill for a week, something like that where it's kind of book related, but it's more like main channel vibes, it'll go here. But any like reading vlogs, reviews, plot reviews, all that kind of stuff will go on the book channel. So if you're a book girly, definitely just go subscribe to that channel. A lot of people have been asking about my aura ring and cycle tracking and just how everything is going with that. I feel like I would need a whole video to dive into everything, but a quick breakdown is that I use the Aura Ring. You can also use like the newer Apple Watches to connect with an app called Natural Cycles, which tracks your basal body temperature. Or if you just use Natural Cycles, you can get a thermometer to do it, which you have to do that every morning, whereas the Aura Ring does it on its own. Plus, you can use the Aura Ring for all the data tracking because it's like a sleep tracking app. But anyway, it takes your basal body temperature and you can know when you're ovulating, so you can do natural family planning, so I'm not on any birth control. And my Natural Cycles app will tell me so many great insights about my cycle, not just to do family planning, but to tell you what what phase of the cycle you're in. Uh, you can track your emotions and all that kind of stuff. There's just so many good insights, and there's a lot of really good education on the app, just like guides and teaching you about women and women's bodies. So I think it's been really great to kind of be more in tune naturally with what's going on with my body, because I had a really 
really, really bad experience with every birth control I was on, and I don't ever want to be on birth control again. So, so far, so good. I mean, I've been married for about eight months. Wait, what's today's date? Eight months and a couple of days by the time you guys see this video. And everything's been going good so far. But I've been using natural cycles for, I think, like two years now just to track my cycle. And as far as the actual aura ring, I don't know if I care that much about the sleep stuff. And it's annoying because you have to pay a monthly subscription for the aura ring. It's like $5 a month. And you have to pay that for it to give you your basal body temperature that connects. It does connect automatically with the Natural Cycles app. And there's a subscription for the Natural Cycles app, which I just pay yearly for. So that's kind of a lot of subscriptions. Whereas I didn't know because the, the new Apple Watch hadn't come out yet when I bought the aura ring. The aura ring is very expensive. It's like the same price as an Apple Watch. I probably would have just gone for the Apple Watch but actually wait no I wouldn't have because I can't handle wearing my Apple Watch during the night you have to wear it all night to be able to get the basal body temperature so I'm glad I went with the aura ring but it is very expensive and I got the gold one and it's already like looks like it's tarnishing it's super scratched up but it's not real gold obviously so wasn't expecting much but I don't know I just expected a little more but I don't necessarily regret it I really I really like the ring and it does track my activity there are some other cool features like it tells you exactly how many calories you burn throughout the entire day not just your workouts so I do really like that for as far as my fitness journey type of stuff I definitely 100% recommend natural cycles whatever you use to track basal body temperature thermometer apple watch or aura ring that's just up to you and since I'm talking about natural cycles I do have a link this isn't like an affiliate link or anything I think I get like a $10 gift card when someone signs up but you also get a discount I'm pretty sure or like a free thermometer I don't remember what the deal exactly is but I'll go ahead and just put that in the description but like I said there, that's like a really big topic there's a lot to go into as far as natural family planning and all that even if you're not doing natural family planning and just want to know more about your cycle there's so much to talk about so much I've learned over the last few years of not being on birth control learning about my body so that'll be a whole video I'm gonna get ready for the gym while I do that something else that you guys have been asking me about is my weight loss journey <laughs> it's definitely a thing that's going on I feel like every time I get into a good routine and I actually start to lose weight something happens whether it's the holidays and for me it's holidays birthdays Valentine's Day birthday and now I'm finally in the clear here in March I don't have any other reason but now it's about to be summer and my brother's in town and like it's just excuse after excuse and that's what's so hard about weight loss is it's not like oh well I'll just you know eat at home and I'll eat good I'll track my calories or eat more protein or whatever method you choose to do there's always going to be something going on you're always going to be eating out there's always going to be all these events where you can eat bad and weight loss as I've come to find out, is all about what you eat, not so much about how much you work out. You can work out as much as you want, but if you eat pizza every day, you're not gonna lose weight. It's just the honest truth. And yes, I had pizza last night and then had leftovers for breakfast this morning. Also, look at these super cute new leggings my mom got me for my birthday. I love them and they have pockets. Let's pick out a workout shirt. I think I'll just go with this t-shirt. I'm a big t-shirt at the gym type of girly. But the only time I've ever successfully lost a good amount of weight, I lost 15 pounds doing the carnivore diet. I also felt the best I'd ever felt in my entire life. More energy, my head felt clear, I didn't have brain fog ever. I had energy throughout the entire day. No post-lunch naps needed and all that. But carnivore is extremely hard to sustain. And I wasn't planning on doing full carnivore for the rest of my life. My plan was to do carnivore as like a elimination diet for a month or two and then add in vegetables and stuff because I do love vegetables and fruits. And I keep telling myself I'm gonna recommit to that, recommit to that. Right now I am doing basically keto, high protein, with still veggies and fruits and all that kind of stuff and I've made some really great meals for me it's just so hard to stick to that when the weekend comes and the weekend is literally what is helping me or making me not lose weight <laughs> I have no self-control when it comes to food I love food I'm a foodie that's why I gained weight in the first place well I gained weight during a very traumatic time in my life and I just have struggled to lose it ever since it is something I'm kind of insecure about and I don't talk about too often because I feel like I am putting forth effort all the time to try I work out all the time I go to the gym like four to six times a week because I enjoy it I go on walks a lot because I enjoy it I place I'm a very just like generally athletic person or maybe not athletic but I like to do stuff I don't like sitting around so I'm very active I just don't eat how I should because <laughs> I love food okay gym fit is on but I know to successfully lose weight I'm just gonna have to commit 
and like actually put in the effort to eat good all the time. And the thing is, I love my meal preps. My meal preps taste so good and I'm just too lazy when the weekend comes. So I just need to meal prep more. So if everybody wants to order pizza, sure, let's order pizza. Y'all can eat it. I'll have my meal prep. And I'm not like saying if you're trying to lose weight, you can't eat pizza. This is something I've learned about myself. That whole mindset of, oh, it's totally fine. It's all about balance. Just have one or two slices. That doesn't work for me. I don't really know how else to put this other than I'm like addicted to food. I'm addicted to sugar. So if I get anything of it, I want a thousand times more and I don't have the self-control. Now, the time I lost weight before, I literally had to wake up and pray for self-control every single day. And the only way I was able to stick to what I was doing was with the help of God. I'm not even kidding. So I just need to get back to like praying for self-control and it's really honestly just embarrassing sometimes. I don't know why I'm being so vulnerable right now, but it's embarrassing how much I love food and I don't like the way that I look. I'm just being 100% honest here and I'm not judging anyone else for what your choices are or any bodies, whatever. I, I don't care what you, I'm just talking about me here, me. I don't like how I look. I want to look strong. I lift heavy in the gym. I work out super hard and I don't have the body that shows that because I choose to eat bad all the time. <laughs> I could rant about this for like ages because it's something I think about all the time. I'm super happy in life and it's not like me being unhappy in the body that I'm in is destroying my life by any means, but I just know I could be healthier. I could look better. I could feel better. And the times that I actually put forth the effort to lose weight, I felt so proud of myself, not just for the looks even. It's like a mindset. The fact that I could control myself, my temptations, and my mind enough to lose the weight made me feel so confident in myself, like I could do anything. And that's one of the main reasons that I really want to lose weight this year. So there's my little weight loss rant as we go to the gym. I'm gonna switch my sheets over and answer another question I've been getting, which is, why is my husband not really in my videos that much? Obviously he's in them, but he's like a little, not even a side character, it's like less than that. He's barely ever in these videos. And my reason for that is I don't want my relationship to be publicly online frequently. And this YouTube channel is my name, Sydney Francis. I chose at a young age to publicly display my life for everybody to watch and see and potentially judge and who knows what. My husband did not choose that. And this is my same line of thinking for when I have kids. My kids have not committed to having their whole lives exploited online. Neither has my husband. So when I have kids, they might be in videos, but not very often. They'll just be little background characters. And that's how I view my husband in my videos. This channel is about me in my life. If he asks to do a video with me, sure, we could do it. But he's not super interested. He's not super comfortable on camera. And people judge so hard relationships for what they see online. And I just don't want to deal with that. <laughs> As you guys know, my past relationship was like 100% online. We had a couples channel, everything. And that was like not not fun. I've never really opened up about it. It was not a good time. It may have started good, but it did not end good, obviously. That being said, my husband Abram is insanely supportive of my YouTube channel, of my career being online. He loves it. He just prefers not to be in it, but he motivates me more than anyone ever has. He's like, are you filming today? Are you editing today? What's your video ideas for the week? Giving me video ideas. Okay, I think I'm fully ready to go to the gym and I'm using my favorite hack, which is telling myself I'm just gonna go walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill. Then I'll probably actually work out because I don't want to go right now. Another question I got was about tattoos, if I'm planning on getting any new ones. I have a plan that I want more tattoos. I would like my vines to be up on my shoulder as well. I just a don't have the funds right now and B I want to take my time with getting tattoos like I'm only 23 and I have the rest of my life to get new tattoos so probably not anytime relatively soon why did I have that zoomed in I didn't realize that was happening I brought my tripod but I don't know if I have the courage to bring this in it doesn't look super busy but do I really want to vlog my workout I'll just get some iPhone footage Hello. 
post-gym hair going absolutely crazy. I forgot to take out my claw clip before I went in, but I didn't want to carry it around, and I already set my fanny pack down in the cubbies, yada yada. So this is what we did. I did take it out when I was bench pressing though, and today I hit a new bench press PR. I'm so proud of myself because I was stuck at the same bench press PR for like ever, and I was like, you know what? Let's go. I'm in my follicular phase, I'm at like the strongest point in my menstrual cycle right now. So I went for it and I hit 95. I am five away from hitting 100 on bench press. That's crazy. Never thought I'd get there because my upper body's always been so weak. So yeah, thanks for coming along. So in total, I was at the gym for an hour and I ran half a mile for like a little warm up, then did a little walking to cool down from that. Then I did bench press, which was my only like traditional strength training today. Then I did functional strength training and just did like a little bit of like a circuit, some dead hangs, some fun stuff. Burned a good amount of calories and I feel really strong and good, and energized, love that. Anyway, let's go home. So I really wanna wash my hair so I can feel clean but my hair takes so long to do and i curled it earlier this week it hasn't even been like a full week for the longest time in my life i've been a wash my hair once a week kind of girly simply because my hair is coarse and it's thick and it doesn't really get oily i guess it's nice to have fresh hair for sunday but like it's so pretty and curled it doesn't look as good right now but if i touched it up i've decided today is gonna be hair wash day and I need to do like a deep condition, but I don't think I have any on hand right now. Have like a oil I can put in my hair. Okay, found my oil. It's just a little rosemary essential oil for hair, skin, and nails, I guess. I didn't know that. I've only ever used it on my hair. So let's just put some in. Can we just appreciate how, okay, why are the lights on? Can we appreciate how healthy my hair is right now? It's almost been a year since I dyed it. The last time I put any color or anything was the end of June. It's currently March, so June, July, August, September. So it's been nine months, and I don't really plan on getting my hair done soon. It is pretty grown out because I wanted it to be close to my natural hair, but then obviously it grows out darker than this. But maybe in the summer it'll lighten up and then I won't need to get any sort of touch up because if anything, I would just get it a little bit darker to match my roots with still a little bit of dimension. I feel like it has a little too much of like a, it's obviously not blonde. I've been blonde, this is not blonde, but like a light brown. That sometimes it looks kind of weird, but literally just not dyeing my hair, not doing anything. I haven't even gotten a haircut. My hair is so healthy. Like two years ago, I think it was two years ago, I had to cut it because it was dead. And it looked really bad, honestly, until I dyed it back to my natural color. Blonde is pretty, but it always just looks dead. And I don't think I'll ever go back to blonde. I've honestly been loving just natural beauty and embracing my natural beauty. Not that I'm against dyeing hair, wearing makeup, or getting my nails done or anything like that, but I haven't really been doing as much of any of that stuff. Obviously haven't dyed my hair in nine months. Last time I got my nails done, I think it was for Christmas, and I kind of committed that it's kind of a waste of money, so I'm not gonna do it. And then when I do my nails at home, I always just peel them off. I literally did them this week and then peeled them all off. So we're just sticking to natural nails. I like to do a no makeup makeup look type of vibe. I guess the only unnatural things I still really love is makeup on like a fun occasion. I love all my piercings. I'll never take them out. I did take out my nose ring. And I do still love my tattoos, even though that's not like natural. I feel like it still is so pretty and a great expression of me. And this vine tattoo will forever be my favorite. But that's why life is so fun because our preferences change. And yeah, I don't know where I was going with that conversation. I was just pointing stuff out, I guess. <laughs> oh, I also haven't done any sort of, whether it's like a lotion fake tan or spray tan or tanning and tanning beds. I didn't do any of that this year or last year, which is crazy because in high school, I would lay in the tanning beds in the winter. And I just don't feel the need to do that, even though I think I look really bad pale. I've just been learning to kind of be happy with the way that I look all year round, happy with the way God made me. And it's okay. Should we do some upside down hair stimulation? Isn't this supposed to be like good for hair growth? That's the other thing, look how long my hair is. It's not like super long, but just considering how short it was not that long ago, I'm so happy. This is scary. Oh, that was so nice, like a little scalp massage. Honestly, at the end of the day, I feel like looks just don't matter as much as I used to think they do. Like I still care, because I'm human, 
but I'm not like obsessive if that makes sense. Okay, while well, I let this sit, I've never done a slicked back bun or slicked pony or anything, but since all this oil is in my hair, I probably could. I want to see what I look like. Oh my gosh. Okay, the slick bag was not made for me. My face is too round. See, as I just said, I don't care that much about how I look. I still know what I look good and look bad in. Okay, I'm still reasonable. And this is not it for me. Maybe it's the no makeup, the pale, plus the slick bag and the like t-shirt. I don't know, but this is not it for me. This is still terrifying. Okay, um, I've just been sitting watching TikTok. I need to shower. I have an hour until we leave to go hang out with friends. Let's get ready. Let's get going. Hair's gotta dry. And I'm all ready to go hang out with friends. Okay, so I listened to you guys' comments on one of my last vlogs about trying a curly hair routine. This was my first attempt. I've never actually tried to do the full like diffuse. I watched some TikTok videos on how to do it. I'm out of breath because I just got ready as fast as I can because Logan's waiting on us, but for a first time, it turned out really good, so imagine if I get good at it. Love! Problem is that it's kind of still frizzy, like, up here. I feel like the top layer of my hair has never been as, like, wavy as the bottom hair because I don't think I have, like, curly hair. I have wavy hair, so maybe it's just dead on top. I don't know, but first attempt, not bad. And this actually makes me like my hair color because it doesn't look so like choppy. Anyway, we're pulling up to logs. We're gonna ride with him and we're just gonna go. So basically like a little kickback at our friend's house. Pickle time. I'm home now. Once again, my camera died. Perfect, I need to charge this thing more often. But the hair is now just looking normal. It's pretty soft though, compared to when I just don't brush it, so. It's definitely interesting. I need to learn how to do my hair. I feel like this doesn't look that bad though, considering I was like riding in a Jeep, sitting by a fire, all those kind of vibes. Anyway, I'm just gonna like eat a pickle, read, hang out of church in the morning, so nothing crazy tonight. Not that I do anything crazy, like ever. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, tonight's chill, every night's chill. Anyways. Mm -hmm. 